Hello there, I'm AJ Buzzlefred, and welcome back to X4 Foundations in the Kingdom's End DLC, where we are back in the Astrid, uh, and we are sitting on top of, I believe, uh, the, um, the, um, Asgard, uh, because we are still in Vig Syndicate space, and we're getting very much closer to trying to get the Earl King. As such, we have both of the, um, both of our, um, Atlas sitting there waiting to deploy, uh, distraction, uh, as, uh, as we sort of try to, to do something about the, uh, the Earl King. I think that I will need to have my, um, one of those small ships in here, one of the ones that has the burst rays on it for this. Uh, that's got one. Hmm. In that case, that might need to go over to the Atlas and actually repair itself. So, let's send it over there. Uh, why has it got a dock? Oh, uh, there we go. This is great. You can, um, you can just set it to repair. I don't think that it actually costs any cash either. I don't know. It might cost the, uh, the listed cash. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I've got my ships over here. Most of these that we can see here are actually just ships that are now abandoned. Uh, the Astrid is really, really good at making ships abandon ship. Uh, it's the, the numerous lasers does do a great job at making the, uh, the ships abandon. So that is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, what I was looking for over here was the other Astrid because there are two. Uh, and one will, uh, one we've got already. And the other one was up there somewhere. It was, it was around here, and now it's disappeared. Hmm. I don't know where it's gone. Uh, which is a bit of a pain, because I want that thing, and I, I need to know where it is. Because I can't go, I can't go dumping a load of, um, satellites. No, not satellites. I can't go dumping a load of, uh, uh what is it? Laser towers, that's the one. Laser towers. I've been using loads of laser towers. So I can't go dumping those when I don't know where it is. There it is! It's over there! Brilliant! Okay, it's gone into that sector. Now that's actually beneficial because if I could go into that sector then I can more easily get that Astrid because it's not defended by the VIG and there's hardly any VIG over there as far as I can tell. So this is actually much more beneficial than I thought. Now, who's going to go over there is the question. I could... I really should send the Regal uh, Hydra because I've uh, I've already managed to get one of the uh, the, the things in that. Hmm. Now, I'll go, I'll go over in the uh, in the asteroid that we've got and we'll try and uh, try and make that our target. Where are you? You. You there. Yes, you. I'm going to have a go at you. Yeah, a go shall be shall be had. Uh, right, let's see. Uh, we need to unpause it. We are undocking, and that other ship is going for repair. As I said, I brought these ships over here to start the offensive against the uh, the um, Earl King. But uh, I do want to try and get this first because of the fact that if I don't get it first, I don't want it to get. I don't want it to be a casualty. If it becomes a casualty of our little um, endeavour, then that would be a shame, would it not? Because then I wouldn't be able to get it again, and that would be, uh, yeah, then I'd only have one Astrid when I can have two. Why would you have one Astrid when you can have two? It's as simple as that. This one, as I believe I showed in the last episode, is quite heavily modified, uh, so hopefully we will be able to use the heavily modifiedness to uh, to make this an easy job with a bit of luck. Uh, though this um, sort of reduces ships um, hull and uh, shields slowly and fast at the same time. It's a, it's a bit difficult to, to, to judge. Right, Entering you. System. Avarice. Yes, we're in Avarice. Yeah. I didn't realise that that was a big um, station, the, uh, the, um, what's it called? Ah, tide break. break is a big station. But it says a civilian now. Wait. It looked as if it was big. How interesting. But it's set to, it's set as, um, 
bit set as civilian, isn't it? Is it civilian? Hmm. No, owner, big syndicate. Okay. So here, it is quite clearly saying that that station is Vig Syndicate. But if you click on it, then it says it's civilian. Eh? <laughs> Undecided, perhaps? I don't know. It seems weird that it would be... Um, that seems strange. I don't understand. Anyhow... Uh, we're going to go and try and deal with this ship because I want both of these ships and they can get out of them uh, and that will be ideal. So let's get closer and then with a bit of luck we can chuck them out. Ah, hmm, I just had a thought. When I last attacked the other ship, the, um, I'm going to have to bring the other ship over here, my, my uh, royal boar on this one. Because when I last attacked the other ship, eventually it got to a stage where it turned blue instead of red. And at that point, all of my turrets stopped shooting it. Now, uh, if that happens again with this one, then I'm not going to be able to shoot it with most of my turrets. And as you may have noticed, the Astrid is all turrets, virtually. So if it doesn't shoot then that would be a lot of um, turrets not shooting uh, which would leave me with these two guns here which if you know anything about the Astrid's guns you would know these two guns here are like pea shooters so yeah that would be inconvenient <laughs> let's get the uh, the Hydra over here and it can uh, it can weigh in on this if it needs to uh, if it doesn't then fine but if it does then we best have it here uh, so we'll get it over here. And as I've said, everything else is set up for the uh, the attack on the uh, the Earl King. I don't know what I'm doing with the attack on the Earl King, to be honest. Uh, I think I will take the um, the Royal Boron Hydra over there, because uh, I, I think that I should be able to do a good job with that. Uh, and the, uh, the Asgard has tons of um, people on it. So if I can encourage people off the... Um, the uh, the ship, then I'll be okay. I don't know if that ship's actually got any guns on it. So I need to uh, sort of go and test that and, uh, and have a look. We are faster than you, Astrid. So much faster. Ah, that's what you get if you uh, if you upgrade your ship. Nah, they haven't had chance to do that. But I would assume. Yeah, we can go at 900, and they're going at 700, so they're way slower than we are. Mm, no chance at all. <laughs> okay, you. I'm coming for you. Get a bit closer. I need to know how, how far these guns can go as well. Ah, so that far then. You! You! Do not mess with the North River Company. Uh, why are my guns not firing? Or are my guns firing? Are they my guns? No, they're, they're, they're their guns. Fire! At will! Good. <laughs> you can barely touch my um, shields. Whereas I can obliterate theirs. Come here. It is a little bit difficult to tell if they're if it's their their lasers firing or mine. But we're obliterating their shields. That's a, I, I didn't expect that, actually. <laughs> I am going to have to be really careful here because I do not want to just blast them. Fact, I'm going to save. Because I really don't want to just blast them. That would be so unfortunate. Uh, four on four. Yes. Just look at all of those lasers. That's really cool. Uh, we tend to see about... Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they are firing virtually all of the lasers at the same time. Uh, which is quite impressive. Just wait for it to save. Come on. Ah. This I forget. 
Every time you save and it's like this, the um, the music for the Astrid kicks in. And the music from the Astrid is A, pretty loud, uh, and B, um, quite good. I like the Astrid music. Um, we can see the, uh, the Astrid at, in action here. Let's just see those lasers at work. Ah, so they're missing us. Yeah, they're missing us. They're that, that sort of lighter laser colour. And we've got the uh, the other one. I don't know why the laser colours are different. Are they different? They look as if they're different, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell? I don't... I... Are they different? Nah, they could be the same, couldn't they? It just... I, I don't know. It just looks as if there's a slight difference. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, and you can see where all of those lasers are. So where are the others? Oh, they're at the back. They're backwards facing. Okay, so we can only use the uh, the, the forward facing ones, and that's that. Right, let's depause it and get rid of that uh, that again. Right, you. You are going to be destroyed if you do not watch it. Okay, we'll be shooting with the back lasers now, which is great. All right, yeah, it's uh, it's um, hull is going down quickly. We need to reduce our uh, our laser output. Okay, come on. Right, it's so dangerous to um, to just go full pelt on these ships because they really they really are capable of being destroyed quite easily. Uh, if you're not careful. So let's keep a good eye on that, uh, those numbers over there. Alright, so down to 60 something, 50 something. Mmm. 59%. 53%. 48%. No, no, no. 46%. Even worse. <laughs> Okay, come on, give him, give, give him his shields back. That's it. We're fine. We've barely, barely been scratched because our shields are like a 60 something percent better. Enjoy the little bit of, uh, of, of laser chip. Come on. Oh, maybe we should scan it. Maybe that'll help. Wait a minute, uh, let's just look at it for a little bit, and wait, 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 how did it get down to 43? How did it get down to 43? It scanned. It's only got one person in it, but it's down to 43% hull, that's really bad. Okay, uh, does that mean that the front lasers are actually going through the, uh, the, um, shields? That's one way of finding out. Just a second. Blast them! Uh, so, 43, still 43, still 43, that's good. Okay, so we can't be going through the, the thing then. Come on, get out of that ship. At 43%, I would have thought that you could have got out of the ship. Comms the person. You. You, you, something, something, something. This empire fair and square. We okay. This. Do you? I don't think so. <laughs> that was interesting. What the? Oh, is he going to get chucked out now? He said, what the? Which makes me feel like he could get chucked out. Shields are going down, mate. It's time for you to get out of the ship. Come on. Think life preserving, mate. Wait. If the tide happens, what happens to the ship? Why are they still. F oh, they're, they're, that's his, his lasers firing at me. I am far more powerful. Just get out of your ship. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. If they get obliterated by the tide, which I won't because I've got uh, um, hazard reduction stuff on. But if they get... Oh, I can still damage the uh, the shields, even with these pathetic little guns at the front. That's cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. 
Uh, well, in that case, I can just blast him with the shield, with the, with the guns at the front. That's that's great. Get out of the ship. It's really not all that difficult. You just get out. Come on. Out you get. Wow. <laughs> mm. Still refusing. I have so much more shields and ability to get away than you do. Just get out. Come on. Alright. Uh, at least it's getting its hold back, which is good. It's got to 30% now. It was down to 20-something, so that was, that was bad. Yes. Out. Out. I'm still not sure if the... Um, the Boso Tar um, method uh, is in action on this one. If we can actually just sort of shunt the uh, the uh, ship and have have him eject. Yeah. Wait. I need to get closer. Closer still. And let's see if we can shunt him out of the ship. I've deliberately left his shields a bit for for this method. Why am I going so slow? Ah. The ship can go at 900, and it's going at 100 and something because of all of these maneuvers. Come on, give up the ship. I mean, he'll he'll, he'll he could give up the ship normal method if um, if I keep harassing him and his shields. Might have recharged again, so might have right back up to top again, which is uh, quite impressive. I'm liking this Astrid. For small ships, it's amazing. You can get small ships to ev to evacuate their ship immediately. It's really quite impressive. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the the medium ships, eh, I guess if I use this front gun more, then maybe that will be uh, useful for the medium ships as well. I'm gonna have to put the uh, the lasers on. Get to it, lasers. Go for it. I just need those shields to come down a bit more. I can't ram him because I can't get close enough to him. I suppose if I backed off totally... Wait a minute, let's back off. Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. And then try and ram him. Ramming speed! And... Missed. <laughs> I could totally use my boosters, but if I use my boosters then I would damage my shields and I do not want to damage my shields. Ram him! Oh, it's so much easier to boop him in the uh, in the Hydra. It really was. Get booping! Come on. Uh, how do I miss so often? Okay, full stop. Uh, let him get a, a good distance away, and then ramming speed. Come on. We can do this. Yes, 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 yes. And crunch. Did that work? No. <laughs> it didn't even reduce his shields. Boo! But look at how well his hull is uh, improving. Ah. Get out. The other one would have. Um, the other one turned blue before this point. So I'd, I do wonder if the uh, if the um, if it's different for this one, he seems very, very stuck in his uh, in his ship. Ram it! Ah, oh, he gets out of the way. <laughs> no! Don't you get out of my way? Get in my way! Come over here. Can I go faster? No. Ah. Time to let those other lasers loose, isn't it? I know that two of them are pointed backwards, and I don't know which ones those are. <laughs> Get out of the ship! Ah! Come on! Zap, zap, zap! E. 
Are we evenly matched when it comes to trying to get him out of the ship? Because obviously we are better than him. No doubt about that. We can we can kill the ship very easily. But actually getting him to evacuate the ship is seemingly quite different, isn't it? Let's try bothering him. Hi. Get out of your ship, mate. I don't care what you feel about how much you own this ship. It should be mine. <laughs> Pirating and all, you know. Nope. 43% hull though, that's great. He's actually uh, he's actually repairing it. How is how he's repairing it and doing all of this steering at the same time, I do not know. Right. Right. Now then. Now is the, uh, the, the time in which it does interesting things, because it has now gone blue. Uh, which means, I think, that at that point he's probably supposed to have ejected, but he didn't, as you can see. He's still firing at us, uh, and now he's just... I don't know what he's doing. It seems like a bug, this, because he should be out by now. For it to go blue, it's like... I've abandoned ship already, uh, but he hasn't abandoned ship as we can see. My lasers are not firing because my ship is, um, it's, his ship's gone blue, so there's, there's no reason for my lasers to fire. It thinks that they are, um, out of the ship, or that it's just stopped bothering me, one of the two, but it hasn't as you can see. He can't damage my uh, my shield, so there's no worry there. Just boop his ship. I don't understand this. I really don't. I do think that this is the point at which the ship should have been ours. Boop. No. Nothing. He's getting his shields back because, quite simply, uh, I can't produce enough damage on his ship to uh, to get him out. Ah, just continual um, going to and fro to try and boop his ship. That's that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Come on, I give you a good boop. You get out. This is this is how this works. Boop, and you're still not out. Okay. Does it even work? I don't know. Have, what's your experience with the? We're trying to get the Astrid to get out of the ship. Do you find that um, that if you boop it hard enough, then it gets out? Or do you find that um, you had to do some other tactics to get them out? I, I, I mean, this... Is it the case that I just have to do normal, normal um, pirating type activity now to get him out? Or what? He seemed to use his uh, boost there. That was a bit silly. You're going to run out of shields, mate. All your shields be gone. Hmm. No, now he's, he's just running away, isn't he? Or is he coming back for a, another attack? I don't know, but I can't use my lasers, uh, which is really annoying. I should be able to use my lasers. I boop you, sir. Nah. Nope. So this is why I was considering bringing the uh, the Hydra in here because if I have the Hydra in here, then I can uh, I can continue the attack uh, with with weapons that will actually damage his shields more. Because it's I'm finding it very difficult with these front two cannons to actually do anything there. What's this saying anyway? What's, what is it saying about anything? He's definitely in there. Yeah. Um, it's not saying anything much, is it? No. It's not giving us any indication of why it should still be blue. He should be out. I want your ship. Please hand it over. Politely, if you could. Uh, right. I'm finding it difficult to keep up with him as well. Okay, okay, okay. He's going slow. That's good. Right, let's turn around. And now he's using his boost, which means that he's using up his shield. Which is great, because that, that takes his shield down. Uh, but uh, I wish I could use my guns. I wish I could use my lasers. I want to use the lasers. 
It's not good enough, I tell you. And he's stuck in this pattern of going forwards and backwards like that. That was a good boop, that was. Did you see it? The the boopification. It was a good quality boop, that. And he's still in the ship. <laughs> have you have you had this happen? What what have you done? And I'm I'm very interested. I need to know. Yeah. Greetings, fellow denizens and voyagers. Where is this worry? We sincerely hope that you found your way into safety, as the sun is now erupting. The right. The tide will now travel through the system and, with violent force, damage stations and ships alike. Okay. Safe. I'm perfectly safe. I don't know about this person that I'm fighting, though. <laughs> because... I've already got hazard protection, and I do not know what he is going to do. I don't think he has hazard protection. No modifications fitted. Uh, no modifications fitted. No damage protection, right? Let's see what happens. If the if the if the uh, sun is about to erupt, then there will be trouble afoot, mate. Maybe that's why he's not getting out of the ship. I don't know. Here it comes. Well, can you stand the tide? And if you can, how? <laughs> why did I have to get an expensive hull thing when you can just stand the tide? Hmm? He seems to be able to stand the tide. How? There's all sorts of bugs going on here. At least it seems like there is. That ship should have been obliterated by that tide. So A, it should be he should be out of the ship because we uh, we have done a grand job of of getting the ship down to blue. I'll just boop him again, just in case. <laughs> done a grand job of getting him down to blue, uh, and uh, and the tide has just gone straight over him and he didn't even need a mod to save himself from it no no all of a no many many no and extra no on top because no get out it conspires against me I say well it's not much I can do about that I shall have to uh, try um, try the uh, the um, Hydra, but the Hydra hasn't got good shields like this. This has got amazing shields hmm. Anyway, I shall see you in the next episode where hopefully I will have managed to get this ship uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see in the meanwhile you take care. Thanks for watching Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time Bye for now